Well, I mean, I came out in 1985. Um, there was no, there were, there, were, there were groups, there were one or two groups in London, uh, there was Black Lesbian and Gay Centre mm -hmm. in London, there were Black Queer Youth Groups. I went into groups, I wanted to go to the club. I mean, mm -hmm. I wanted to find a man, I wasn't going there to sit around and talk to people. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, I wanted to be out, I didn't want to be political. Mm -hmm. And I get that that, that that is not always a path that we have to take. Mm -hmm. Some of us should be holding up and going to the clubs, some of us should be out there with banners and protesting for people's mm -hmm. right to mm -hmm. go to those clubs. Mm -hmm. And that's fine, mm -hmm. you know, because many people have to live their ordinary lives. You know, and if we were all activists, we just be spending more of our time being activists and not being party people. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important that we exist. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad that we do. Mm -hmm. um, not having it coming up mm -hmm. didn't do me any harm. Mm -hmm. It didn't do me any harm. I wish it was there, but you know, we, we got by. I had, I had other role models. I think that's the other thing I also had to reflect on. I had, I had, you know, my, my, I had strong black male role, role models around me. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I didn't necessarily. And it's an interesting conversation when we say, you know, we're not represented. I don't see myself on TV. I don't see myself in the media. Is that all we need? Mm -hmm. You know, look around you. You know what I mean? We don't need to, but when we, and when we are represented, how fair and often and honest is that? Mm -hmm. So I prefer to look, right now, seeing with you guys inspires me more than any representation in Gay Times, Attitude Magazine, QX, Coronation Street, EastEnders. Mm -hmm. This is real. Period. This is the stuff.